Hey guys, what's up? Um, I just want to show you this quick plugin I found, a free plugin that's actually really cool. It's called Bevel After Boolean. I'll leave a description down below, so check it out. It's basically kind of like a, a version of, of Modo's Mesh Fusion. So um, you install it how you install any other, any other pro plugins. I don't really need to go through that. But then once you've installed it, you've got this section here in your toolbar called BAB, um, Bevel After Boolean. So cool. So how it works is you need your geometry to have a lot of segments. It doesn't work well with geometry with a lot of segments, basically. So I've gone ahead and modeled all these individual pieces here. Um, I'm going to Boolean them together and then I'll show you how this tool works. Right. So if I select this, select this, Control Shift B, uh, do a union. Great. So now if I select that, Shift H to hide everything else. If I select bevel, go to wire, turn off slice, turn on union. And look at that. So what it's done is it's basically gone at the intersection and added a, a, be, uh, a bevel. Um, if I turn off wire, we can get a bit of a better idea. Look at that. Looks lovely, right? Silky smooth. Now, the problem is sometimes you get some issues like this. So what I have tend to do is I tend to add a weighted modifier, um, weighted normal modifier on top of it at the end, but we'll get there afterwards. So let me go back to wire. What you want to do after you've done this, you can you can change your bevel radius here. So you can do this. You can also change the profile, the segments. Maybe seven's a bit too high. Let's bring it down. Bring it down to four. Let's have a look what it looks like. Cool. Now, yep, that's great. So then bring on wire. Once you're happy with it, what you do, if you want to confirm, you have to click on the object and that will confirm the operations. It's quite a destructive way of modeling. I don't really know if you can go back and change the bevels after you click. So be careful once you click. But what you can do is if you click on stop here, that will then give you the option. Then you can come in and um, you know modify modify this go back in click bevel and yeah let's check it out it's looking good looking good okay cool so let me show you some more of the settings um, transfer normal now this sometimes works sometimes it gives me really odd results so I don't really use it so I keep it off. Um, to be honest, some of the other, I'm not 100% sure what some of the other parameters do. I'm still kind of learning it. This remove double seems to kind of like remove the geometry. But as you can see, it kind of like takes away some of the geometry, if that's what you want. Um, cool, let's confirm this and carry on. I'll show you some, more, some other stuff. So click to confirm, done. Hide this. Now, if we bring back, oh shit, I've got all this other stuff from God knows when. Delete it. Delete it. Delete it. And delete it. Cool. So, let's check this out. So now, oh, there's another piece of shit there. Delete that. Cool. Let's select this. Select this. Control Shift B, difference. Cool, nice. Now select back onto the shape, bevel, change this bevel down, make it sharper. Cool, add more segments. Now that, bang. Click to confirm. Get that nice, right? Then check this out. This is another cool, cool thing. So, say I select, fucking hell, there's even more thick, more shit here. Delete that. Select this. Select this. Should I do the opposite way? Control Shift B. Difference. Okay. So now bevel. Select slice. Oh, look at that. Is that cool? Is that cool? So then obviously you can come in still. Um, 
change the bevel width, make it a bit slimmer, change the segments, bring the segments down to sharpen it up. The thing is, the problem is with this, it can get quite slow. It seems like Blender starts to kind of like chug on all this geometry. It's the only, the only downsides really. Um, let's bring it up a little bit to be fair. Go like that, bring the profile back to five, bring the segments up. Damn, that is nice though. Look at that. Amazing. Then click to confirm. You see now the problem is I can't go back to change this bevel. So it's kind of like baked in, I think. Let's let's carry on anyway. So let's um how about we add this as a as a union, so Control Shift B, Union. Cool. Select this. See now, this is is handy because you can predefine the bevel radius before you actually bevel. So sometimes if your computer is lagging, I find this is a good way to kind of like not. How can I say it? Um, if it's like not have it glitch out. Um, it's hard to explain, but if you play around with it, you'll kind of see what I mean. Keep it at that anyway. So turn off slice, put wire on, bevel, union is selected. Okay, so now you see all this shit going on here. Now, why that's happening, fuck knows. But what we can do is we can first of all try try playing around with the bevel radius, see if that fixes it, which it doesn't. So what the best thing to do is go stop. Go in, select your um, Boolean shape. Then just move it a bit. So let's bring it up like that. Bring it in a bit. Cool, let's try that. So now we go back in. Bevel. There we go. Oh, it's kind of fixed it, but it's also kind of fucked it up again. Um, let's check everything else. Sometimes you need to just play around and, and move things around and it seems to work. Uh, so the reasoning that could be happening is... Let's bring up radius down a, a bit. Bring it to something like that. Let's try. To smooth it. No, smooth. The patch parameters are a bit fiddly for me. They don't really seem to work ever. So I'm not 100% sure what they do. I'm still learning this plugin as well, by the way. So bear with me. Um, if I add. There we go. It just needed a bit more geometry. So you can add um, a subsurf with the amount here, which kind of like beefs up the geo. We transfer normals. Turn off wire so we can see what's going on. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Cool. Click to confirm. Bang. Select this. Here we go. Do it. Do it again. Control Shift B. Go for a difference. Nice. Select this. Bevel. Now let's go slice. Wire. See what's going on. Deary me. Let's um, try out some more geo. See what happens. Nice, there we go. Let's turn off wire, see what's going on. Look at that, beautiful. Kind of cool for high poly stuff. Um, cool, click to confirm. All X.
I will see because we've we've actually split. So there's two there's two um, this is a separate model, separate piece of geometry. Another cool thing actually as well with these after you cut a bit, it kind of still leaves the cutter there, it's, but it kind of leaves it in like a a box format. So if I now scale this, for example, bring it up a bit, cool, and now go like this and Shift B, Control Shift B. Union, great, bevel, turn off slice, do a difference, it stays cool, it's a wire, look at that, beautiful. And you can just keep going in and, and cutting in and just making this look really nice um so if i then select this one which was this cutter again scale it bring it up a bit bring it down a bit like that bang Control shift b difference bring it up a bit Nice. Bevel. Um. Now we want it as a difference. Now, why is this happening? When you have errors like this, click stop. Select your cutter, move it around a bit, let's put it somewhere like that, see what's going on here, okie dokie, it's probably there's maybe too much geo this time, so what we've got to do, go back in, so I've selected that, click bevel, Oh, looking good. Um, still, maybe there's just a bit too much geo. Let's test it anyway. So now, you see, this is what I mean. It can start to chug along, really. Once you start cutting things and start getting a lot of geo here, it really starts to struggle. There we go. Look at that beautiful. Okay. Nice. So now if we go and if we go and check the shading. Man, that's pretty dope, right? That is pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Let's see how far we can take this. So let's go back. Let's add, let's use a bit of box cutter. So let's think, let's cut some, some circles. Go like that, array it. Bring the array, the array. Mount down, space it out, boom. Now, what's going to happen here, these cutters don't have enough geometry, so it's going to basically fuck up the operation. The bevel won't really work. So what I'll do is I'll show you what happens when, when you try and do this with, with limited amount of geo, and then we will fix the problem. So great. So let's, we're, we've selected that. That's good. So... Now, if we go in and go to bevel, let me turn off wireframe, bevel. Yeah, you see, it gives you these weird sort of bugged out errors. You can't change the subsurf on it. 
on the cutters. So what you need to do when you get these, it, I think it means you just need to put more geo in there. So let's undo that. Select our cutters. Cool. Go into edit. Now we need to uh, select that. Inset both the faces. What's going on here? Inset. It's bugging out a bit. Inset. Cool. Inset again. Inset again. Nice. Edge. Add some edge loops, ring loops, whatever you want to call them. Cool. Hide the cutter. Now let's try it. Now let's bevel. Yeah, much nicer. Let's view the wireframe. Oh man, that is cool. Um, let's bring bevel radius down. I think this plugin is still being developed, so. I mean, going forward, hopefully they can make it a bit faster. And if there was any sort of way that you could come in afterwards and modify these bevels, that would just be amazing. Like if there was a way that, you know, these bevels were were listed as in a way where I could come in and be like, yeah, this bevel here, I want to, you know, change it to this, this thickness later on. I don't know if that's possible, but that would be killer then. Um, obviously, you know, like if you look at the geo, it's... It, <laughs> It's probably the least uh, optimized geo you're ever going to see, but it's still cool because it still gives you good results. So let's um, take off wire, click to confirm. Ah, look at that, that is beautiful. Then that's it really, to be honest. Uh, drop a weighted... Um, weighted normal on there. There we go. That is pretty damn good. I need to sort out this mirror. That is cool. Cool. Well, tell me what you think, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace.